So the three sketch environment in Inventor finally got some some love in it's got some enhancements and some pretty significant enhancements actually and some really needed things as well. So I'm going to start a new 3D sketch. So I'm just going to start um, 3D sketch from the from the menu here, and I'm going to use the new curve on face option, which does as advertised. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to start picking points, and what we will see is that even though I'm just picking points here, it's actually constraining them and snapping them to that face. So now if I take this model and rotate it around, we can see that those points actually all lie on that curved face. Now I did a curved face, but it could actually be a flat face or really any type of surface that you want to snap to. The other thing that kind of works in conjunction with this is the new on face constraint type. So you can take a line, you can take spline, you can take arcs, and you can actually take those points and actually have it snap to or constrain to again any type of, of surface so that it all those points lie on that particular surface. Now what I want to do in this model is I want to build kind of a handle in here and I want to start from over here and I want to work my way back over here. So I'm going to start the line command and notice that when I right click some new options in here notice that I've got ortho mode which can also be accessed through a control R or by by picking ortho down in the status bar. I can enable dynamic dimension which is very similar to dynamic input. It's just allowing me to enter in values as I'm sketching. I can also come in here and I can switch to the world and the Z or align to a particular plane. So where I'm going to start here is I'm actually going to snap to this point here. And the reason why is because I've got snap object turned on. So what I'm going to do is actually pick this point to start. Now you can see the, the direction of the triad. So I'm going to right click and actually say I want to orientate my Z so it goes down the center of that plane there. So it just it would reorientate that. Or maybe what I want to do is I want to orientate my Z in this direction. So notice how it, it reorientated the triad to be normal to that particular face. So I'm just going to right click. I'm going to orientate this to the world, flip it back again, and you can see how it's changed the location. Or I want to um, you know, snap to a particular intersection so I can pick that point to put it back to where it was. Now, because the ortho is enabled, and you might be thinking along here, well, that's an AutoCAD term. Well, it's the same concept with an inventor. It's just been inventorified a bit to make it a little bit more intuitive, a little bit more you know, in the inventor workflow. So I'm just going to pick a point there. And since I've still got my line command active, I'm now going to go up. And notice how everything is staying snapped here at 90 degree increments. So I'm going to pick a point there. I'm going to pick a point there and I can keep picking points. And again, I've got my dynamic dimensions turned on. I could actually key in dimension values if I want to um, enter in specific values. Now, what would happen if I turned off ortho? So if I came in here and I turned off ortho, notice that it goes back to being kind of a, a free free reign here. And I can still use the, the triad options here. So if I want to snap to this particular plane, I can go click on it. and I'm now snapping that particular plane. And my infer constraints come on. So, you know, it's not an all or nothing. It's not, I am using ortho, I'm not. Um, you can see that you can go in there and you can enable that and disable it as you need it. If I do, um, let's just pick another point here. Once I'm done, um, again, I might want to come down in here and I might want to snap to some geometry. So, notice the snap's actually going to override the ortho and it's going to take effect as opposed to using the ortho. The last enhancement is I'm going to take an existing point and I'm going to right click on it and what I can do is I can actually do, let's actually, let's do this point here. I'm going to right click and I want to do a 3D transform on that point. So you can see now that the 3D transformer is not really, I wouldn't say it's new because it's been around for a while. It's just been enhanced to make it easier to use and, and more powerful. So I'm going to take this point and I'm going to drag that point back. Or maybe what I want to do is I want to rotate the triad because I actually want to move that point up and notice how it's affecting the line. Maybe I like to drag it in this direction. I like to drag it up a little bit so you can see how I can make changes to it quickly. I guess it snapped that plane so it's not going to allow me to do it. But I can use the triad, sorry, the 3D transform to make changes. Notice the menu options here. So what am I actually you know, impacting? Am I doing translation and rotation? Um, you know, what space am I working in? Maybe I want to flip this to the view and it's actually 
now snap this so it's aligned to the view. Um, perhaps I'd like to go with the local um, or the world. So it depends on, you know, do I want to use the local sketch? Do I want to use the, the models? Orientation. I can reorientate it. I can relocate it. So maybe I'd like to relocate that to the bottom of that point. And notice now that I'm still impacting the same point, I've just changed the location of the triad. Once I'm satisfied with how I've modified, I click the check mark and it's applied it. So again, three main enhancements, the curve on face, the ortho mode and dimensioning options within the line command, and then the 3D transform. Plus the new right click options to quickly access a lot of things, and you've got a very powerful 3D sketch environment.